Good morning all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live in Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. I've been trialling the honeypot hive system using the local species Tetragonula hockings eye. Now the series I've been doing is on management but something's come up. It's the 7th of November 2016. It's only 7 o'clock in the morning. Temperature is about 25 degrees. And as you can see here, that's the hive, mother hive. That's a new hive I'm building, a new design. That's going to come in a later video. That's the honeypot hive, still in the sun, morning sun. It'll be gone another half an hour. But I don't know if you can see this, and these cameras are all bad at showing this. But there, you might be able to see it happening. I'll try to do it in a bit more darkness. Just around here, keep out of the sun. You might see there's swarming going on. Lots of bees all over the place. I'll go over here a bit. And this comes under the management things um, series because you've got to ask the question, what do you do when you have swarming? Well, you've got two possible reasons for swarming. The first is that a queen's being replaced. And that could be happening in either hive. Maybe the queen's not performing as well as it could. But the other possibility is a takeover. Is there a takeover going on? Have we got what's called a fighting swarm? Has this mother hive decided I'm going to supplant this hive, the honeypot hive? The interesting thing we've got here is, and I don't know if you can see it, a heap of activity out the front of this hive. So bees have found this hive, which makes me think this is a takeover bid. I can't see any dead bees. Remember, this hive's rather weak at the moment. And that explains in management, what do you do if you've got a fighting swarm and not a mating swarm? I'm unsure what type of swarm it is, because normally in a fighting swarm, the bees will lock together and fall to the ground. But at the moment I've been looking on the ground and there's just no signs of that. And that means this could be also what's called a testing swarm. And a testing swarm is when you've got bees out and about just testing the strengths of the hives, seeing whether the hives are strong enough for a takeover. So at the moment we've got heaps of bees flying around all over the place. They're congregating in certain areas like here for instance. I don't know if you'll get this right. That's the trouble with these cheap cameras. You don't get a good image. But you might be able to see there bees could be congregating. And what happens is many of the workers will put scent marks up and that's where the bees will want to congregate. So we've got bees just everywhere at the moment. And if I keep it out of the sun you might get a better idea. So what's one of the things you do when you're unsure of the type of swarm? In management, set up a bait box. A bait box? Try that again. A bait box or another hive. So here we have is another hive. I've just positioned that there now because this swarm's just started. If the bees are looking at supplanting the honeypot hive, I might be lucky. They might see this hive see the entrance and go into there. They certainly will know it's there because they're flying around all over the place here at the moment. So they're going to find this hive as well there. Now do bait boxes work? Occasionally. Mm. And already we've got bees curious about what's going on in the front of this hive here. Occasional one flies around the entrance. So what sort of swarm is this? Utterly no idea. But in management, you keep a close eye on this now. 
if it looks like this is a takeover swarm, going to take over the honeypot hive here, what I'll do is as soon as it looks like it's one of those sort of things, a takeover, I'm going to move the honeypot hive and put in this hive as a catch hive. But I don't know for certain what it is. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it and you'll probably get a update video on this.